Uh, the current owner just evicted uh, some tenants who love to do the intravenous drugs. Typically, when you start doing the intravenous drugs, you stop paying the rent, right? That's how it rolls, okay? That's how it goes, y'all. But that does not mean this particular property could not become a great investment because this property has got some, like, hidden hidden awesomeness to it, right? Like, this property is actually very close to the Detroit Shoreway, okay? The Detroit Shoreway, folks. Uh, that's one of the most poppin', sought-after, uh, trendy, gentrified neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland. Oh! They got the diabetes in here, bro. Oh, more Neagles, dude! Couple of Neagles, one there. On there, that's the good stuff. I know she get ugly. That's why she pretty. It's true. So I heard. Hey, more needles. Yeah. yeah so, uh, more needles. Welcome to the investment properties for sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't lie to you. Giving it to you straight. Looks can be deceiving, y'all. Looks can be deceiving, right? At first glance, this particular property, 7805 Elton Avenue in Cleveland, this looks like a big old mess, right? You're looking at this property, and you're like, damn, there's crap everywhere. It's all up in the yard. We got nettles. We got dirty, dirty heroin needles all over the place. This must be a dump. This must be a crap hole. This must be a friggin' mess. Because that's what it looks like. And, well, I got to tell you, some of that's true, some of that's not true. Okay? Looks can be deceiving. This particular property, in its current situation, its current iteration, <laughs> yeah, it's all types of fucked up. Okay? Uh, the current owner just evicted uh, some tenants who love to do the intravenous drugs. Typically, when you start doing the intravenous drugs, you stop paying the rent. Right? That's how it rolls. Okay? That's how it goes, y'all. But that does not mean this particular property could not become a great investment because this property has got some like hidden hidden awesomeness to it, right? Like this property is actually very close to the Detroit Shoreway, okay? The Detroit Shoreway, folks. Uh, that's one of the most poppin', sought-after, uh, trendy, gentrified neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland, right? And you're also not too far away from some of the other good stuff, right? So you're you're right there in the ballpark. What you have to do is you got to reposition it. you got to clean it up, right? you got to go in, remove all the stuff, remove all the old tenant stuff, and then you do, like, a, a modest cosmetic renovation. Like, it really looks a lot worse than it is, right? Like... There's a big difference between having to, like, do a major clean-out, some dumpsters, and then a cosmetic reno to, like, a full gut job reno, right? And I know people, especially new investors, dude, they'll see a house like this, and they'll be like, Ah! Oh, my God! There's needles! There's needles all over the place! And they'll freak out, right? And then, they'll, they'll you know, you see all the trash and shit, and then you think it's a lot worse than it is. It's really not that big of a reno. Like, yeah, it's gross, it's grimy, it's nasty, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but it doesn't mean the reno itself is actually all that bad, right? Like, if, if this property was already, like, cleared out, trashed out, you guys would, like, have a totally different impression of it, most likely. So, uh, you know, modest renovation, dude. Trash it out, get it repainted, get it lead certified, get it rocking and rolling, and then you can go Section 8 or cash, right? Should be able to generate as high as thirteen fifty over here in this particular neighborhood, and then it's going to be a money maker, man. So if that makes sense for you, you're willing to look past uh, the rough stuff at the moment, uh, and you see the value here, and that value is just straight up hard cash flow, baby. If you're able to see all that, and you're interested in making an offer, send an offer to my team. Send it to my team. Just send me an email, right? I'll write it up. I'll write up the offer. You just send it to me, Blake James. I want to buy 7805 Elton. I love me some nettles. Please, James, hook me up, right? Just go ahead and send that. Sales at HoldenWise.com, and I will write it up. Of course, I'll need to see your proof of funds, though. If you want to finance this investment, that's going to be a tough one. The property itself, uh, probably not going to work until it's renovated, okay? So we're really going to need cash offers on this one. It's just too messed up. A bank ain't going to be able to look past all the nonsense Right, so just them cash offers. However, if after you renovate it, you want to refinance it out 
and you need lenders to help you, I got lenders who will do just that, right? So if you need to, send me an email, sales at holtonwise.com, and I'll get you all of my lenders, right? I've been doing this a very long time, y'all. If you're driving in Cleveland, you're going to see that black and yellow Holton Wise sign all over the fucking place, right? I didn't have my name, didn't get my name on all these fucking houses by mistake, by accident, right? Sold over $200 million worth of properties out here. And in that time, in my career, doing all this, managing thousands of properties, renovating thousands of properties, dealing with thousands of properties, cleaning up thousands of nettles, I have developed a major network and Rolodex uh, of investors who want to finance deals. They make their money uh, loaning people like you money on deals like this one, and then they have people like me manage it so uh, they know that the deal is going to go through. They know the renovation is going to get done. It lowers the risk for them, right? So I've acquired massive Rolodex of those types of lenders, private, hard money, you name it, right? So if you need to get hooked up with some financing for a deal like this, okay, to do a cash-out refi kind of deal, uh, just let me know. I'll hook you up. I will give you all my contacts, right? It took me over a decade to develop that Rolodex. You get it right now. Salesofholdenwise.com. Let's go. Oh. First two rooms are good. Fucking garbage on the floor, that's good. Love to see it. Dude, lots of condoms up here, bro. Oh! They got the diabetes in here, bro. And a nice little spoon. Whole setup, dude. Okay. You find anything good? Just tons of condoms. These people did nothing but fuck in here. <laughs> yep, a couple two tree needles in there. Those are for the good times. Dude. What'd you find? Another copy of God's Promise. Should we take this to senior? Dude, that's almost a sign that we need to. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, careful with the floor. My stuff right there, too. You're good. Yeah. Oh, more needles, dude. Couple of needles. One there. And one there. That's the good stuff. You just come back in this little room, get your fix on. I know she get ugly. That's why she pretty. Cool.
Yep. That's nice, dude. Flavored condoms on the windowsill. Cool, dude. She's probably hot then. She got some huge titties. Hello! Do you know that? Oh man. There's a, this is where they're getting their fucking street signs from. <laughs> I saw that. God damn, dude. This is why you don't give. That's why you can't give money to these people because they come here and they. Vince, you got gloves on? No. Ah. Uh, I was gonna have to turn this camera on. Yo, these people, we should steal the sign. My father's standing on the side of the street with that. That's what I said. That's why you don't give them money, because then they fucking come here. They do drugs. Yeah, somebody left here and they just left their fucking unopened box of grits in the fucking. There's people in Africa that are starving. You were all the way in here already? Yeah. That place is fucked. Used? Man, apparently you just can't get. That's what I'm saying. Can they just not get erections when they're high on the Ron? Maybe they they're just like, you know what? Now that I got heroin in me, I don't really want to fuck. <laughs> I'm, good, I'm good, dude. I'm probably at the top of the mountain. Nowhere else to go with you. With the I got heroin there. in me, so like, fucking doesn't sound all that cool anymore. It's true. So I heard, hey, more needles. Yeah, yeah so I More needles! Yo, we can make like 15, 20 bucks off all these fucking bike tires. That's probably what they were doing. You're not wrong. This does look like the kind of shit a little, a chop little scrap quarter would do. So the bedroom has some more in it too. Yeah. Well, I bike for for somebody who doesn't scrap. It's beautiful. Mornings. Oh. Free tire, dude. Yeah, dude. Nice and bald and open. Yeah, that's just how you want them. Woo. Bird. 
We got a copy of Puppies in the Pantry on the... So you used to work with her at uh, PetSmart? Yeah, I trained her. Oh! Do you think she still works there? Uh, I don't know. What'd you train her to do, Derek? <laughs> you didn't hear me. And there she is. In all of her ugly glory. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.